Hello, and welcome to another chapter of a tome pulled right off the shelves at the heart of the Jackals. This is Rygar Part 7, Revealed. Let's get to work. Disguise in place. Check. Horrible burning sensation threatening to drive me insane. Check. Stupid plan that will surely get me killed, or at least ripped apart by ravenous monsters. <sighs> Check. Let's start this fiasco, then. Korvoth began lurching forward in the same way the golems always do, stabbing one foot ahead of him as if about to fall over and dragging his other foot along for the grind of it all. Nearing the edge of the writhing throng mass of them, and slowly pushing forward till he was consumed by the press. It was utter and complete chaos. It worked, fortunately, being wrapped in loose hanging canvas-like folds of cloth, constrained as much by that as the pressure of all these bodies, bumping constantly into one another, moving as much by his own insistence to relieve the torment in his feet as by the random pushes and slams of the rasping monsters crowding around him from every conceivable angle. Madness, a better, more polite way to describe the situation, saying nothing of the way some of the creatures latched onto one another and began merging and then separating from their fellows. Disgusting is really the best word. They flowed like living jello, seeping into and back out of various body parts and limbs, all whilst the million screams and grunts sounded like the swarm of sentient bees shouting in half-realized tongues. Not a single thing to do but feel a deeper sense of encroaching dread and push further through the debasing muck of it all. Until that sincere and most fateful moment, lost in place and without purpose beyond, this direction feels more painful to my feet. Let's move away from it as fast as possible. The ravenous touch and subsequent stalker's embrace clawing upon his personhood, followed only by the most enraged snarl in response to Korvoth's instinctive lunge in practically any other direction available. This, of course, drove the entire horde stark raving mad all at once, a thousand scraping hands reaching to rip the precious flesh from his bones, crying out in pain, only driving their greed and envy all the further. And then in abject terror, frozen against primordial forces no one could possibly understand, calling forth the darkness from the deepest parts of himself to overwhelm the fire racing up from his foundation through his entire body. Everything but the pain that he was causing himself stopped on a dime. Gorboth glanced around. It seemed like all of a sudden he wasn't there. The blasted creatures even walked purposefully around him, seeking one another out, but doing so in the most roundabout way that ignored Korvoth's presence and the immediate vicinity around him. He stood back up, not even sure when or how he'd fallen upon his stomach, and chose a direction, half expecting the monsters to discover him in the same manner they had before. But no, they parted away from him, propelled as if by sheer repellent forces of magnetism, and so he kept on walking, till he witnessed the looming mountains beyond the tide of thrashing limbs, and was brought low by the agony of whatever it was that he was currently emitting. 
fallen once more, rising again in excruciating shattered glass-like pain, back to his feet and forcing them to keep his balance. The golems had begun to close the very small gap, and continued doing so. Scrambling with rampant desperation, Korvoth charged the edge of the herd, having to bash his way out of the last line of defense and into free, open air. A call of chasing rage following after in his wake, Korvoth let go of the abyssal embrace, putting the rest of his ragged breaths in focus into flight and the terror that was his only source of power at the moment, trying without success to rip the cloth from his body that now felt bound upon him. A trumpeting blast of chasing screeches, forcing him to focus only upon racing up the mountainside into the dark pass beyond his sight. Survive first, plot comfort later. And so it is. Our time together has once more come to a close. I have been Lothran, and this was Rygar Part 7, Revealed. Another tale from the heart of the jackals. Go ahead, Korvoth. Yes, sir. Okay, that's the end of it today, folks. Please leave all your comments, questions, and kindnesses down below. Don't be a jerk, though. And don't forget to stay safe out there. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to show your support. Good night and good luck. See you again tomorrow. Oh, I always forget. That bell, when you subscribe, you gotta make sure to click it so you get no notifications because we release videos every day and you don't want to miss none of them. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.